And right now joining us, his coach says he is a power forward for a big guy with uh, he skates well, he's strong, he's a pretty good he has a pretty good skill set. He shoots the puck pretty well, and he goes to the net hard. I think that is essentially why he's had success this year. However, he doesn't mention that he's a likely first-round pick for this year's NHL Thank entry you. draft. We're joined by Carter Ashen of the Lethbridge Hurricanes. Carter, how you doing, man? Good. Thanks a lot for having me. Oh, and thanks for coming on. Um, I hear you were uh, pretty impressive with the physical tests uh, at the draft combine. Uh, can you maybe walk us through you know, some of the tests you did, sort of... Uh, what you feel like you did well in, maybe what you hated? Uh, I think one of my best ones was the VO2. Uh, I was lucky enough to work with a very good trainer in here in Saskatoon, and we did a number of things for it. And I mean, we were riding the bike, we were in the pool, I mean, three times a week. So I was lucky enough to get, uh, get on board with a good trainer and be successful in that. Now, getting away from the physical testing just a bit, uh, let's go to the interviews. Um, now, I, I couldn't believe this when I read it. Uh, the Washington Capitals actually asked you to get up and perform the chorus for Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. That was actually the first question they asked me was uh, <laughs> to sing a song because they knew it was my last interview of the whole week, so they wanted to have some fun, I guess. And you know, I tried to sing the chorus, and I guess I hit a couple notes, and they liked it. Well, uh, you are on the radio. Would you like to uh, lay down some Lady Gaga for oh, us right no, now? I don't think so. I don't think I can do that. No. What? What if we just you know started the beat a little bit? <laughs> no, I still don't think that was a one-time thing in my life. The <laughs> one-time thing? Oh, okay, yeah. fine, 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 fine. Have it your way. Um, now, what's amazing to me about this interview process is, uh, you know, there's only 30 teams that can interview you, and you were interviewed by 29 of them. Um, my, my question is, who was the one team that didn't interview you? Um, I, I think it was Dallas. But, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a good honor to get I mean, interviewed by 29 teams, and you meet a lot of people in that process. Uh, other than I guess the Lady Gaga uh, question, uh, what what was what were some of the strangest questions you were asked uh, at the combine? Um, there were a number. I mean, a lot of the teams were kind of more laid back and just kind of get to know you. But the weirdest one was probably singing a song, and even I had to tell a joke too. But there's a couple of weird ones that got you off guard, like. How would you react if uh, one of your teammates was gay? And just a couple ones like that, too, were, were different. Seriously? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Um, my question is, what was the joke you told? Uh, I don't think I can share that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's fine, man. Um, it's internet radio. It's okay. It's internet radio. <laughs> yeah, we don't care. No, um, your, da- <laughs> your agent might. I don't know. <laughs> um, your dad, Brent, uh, Brent Ashen, played for uh, eight NHL teams, uh, what kind of guidance has he given you uh, leading up to, uh, you know, you know, this week and all the, uh, the the festivities? You know, you're about to go in the first round of the NHL entry draft. I wonder what kind of guidance has he given you? Uh, he's definitely been a huge influence um, to have someone around with that knowledge and, I mean, that that knowledge about the game day to day is definitely an advantage to have. And he coached me from, I mean, when I was young, till maybe I was almost twelve. So. Like I said, to have someone around like that was definitely nice, and he shared a lot of his knowledge with me. But in terms of right now, I mean, he knows it's in my hands, and he knows uh, he's got me to where I can now, and he's taken a step back definitely from I mean, my game now. And um, you know, your dad aside, um, you know, you were on a Lethbridge Hurricane squad that was uh, full of first rounders for uh, this year's NHL or last, uh, you know, the last few NHL entry drafts. Uh, there's Zach Boychuk comes to mind. Lucas Biza saw a fair chunk of uh, uh, his season in the NHL this year, uh, Kyle Beach. I-, I wonder, what what did those guys tell you? Because really they're in a very similar position to what you're doing right now. Yeah, absolutely. You can learn something from those guys. Um, I was good friends with Zach Boychuk. We were actually roommates on the road. So to have someone around like that and uh, actually play in a line with him is definitely someone to learn from because he's already been through it. So, you yeah, know, I definitely keep in touch with him. We've talked about the combine and, and, and all that. So it's definitely nice to have someone around like that. Well, Carter, uh, definitely, uh, you know, good luck with uh, your music career, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and certainly uh, good luck at uh, the NHL entry draft, uh, and uh, you know, potentially going in the first round. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, and like I said, thanks again for having me.